What's going on guys, Justin Henry here with another edition of the FanDuel Hurry Up talking about the massive deal. Tyreek Hill is headed to Miami. The Kansas City Chiefs and Miami Dolphins have made a blockbuster deal sending Tyreek Hill to the Miami Dolphins in exchange for five draft picks. And there's tons of fantasy implications for both sides, so let's get into it. For Tyreek Hill, the value uh, to me has gone down a little bit. So obviously we're used to seeing Tyreek Hill at that top three value, elite production, elite upside, can carry your team week in and week out. I do think he carries the same upside on a week-to-week -week basis, but with Tua Tungabailoa throwing instead of Pat Mahomes, we've come to expect you know a lot of those 60-yard, 70-yard bombs. There's going to be a slight decrease in that. So with Tua as his quarterback, let's put Tyree Kill in that mid-tier uh, wide receiver one conversation. So probably around that five to eight range. I feel very comfortable with that. And he doesn't carry the same upside that he once did. Obviously, there's a lot of weapons there now in Miami. Uh, new coach and a different quarterback. We just got temper expectations from what we've come to expect out of this Tyreek Hill, Pat Mahomes relationship. Tyreek Hill does have a slightly lower value now that Tua is throwing to him. And for the Dolphins, uh, Tua now has a lot of weapons. We've seen him play uh, when he's when he's been in the lineup, played really well at times, but been kind of inconsistent at other times. When you add a quarter, uh, a uh, receiver like Tyreek Hill and a coach like Mike McDaniel, now there's a lot more room for Tua to grow as a quarterback. He's more experienced. I expect Tua to be in the back end QB1 conversation with a lot of upside for more. Don't be surprised if he ends up being a top five, six quarterback by season's end, but for now, we'll put him at the back end QB1 uh, because when you're talking about the weapons like Jalen Waddle, Tyree Kill, Chase Edmonds, Raheem Moster, Mike Gusecki, Devontae Parker, there's a lot of room to work with the new offense and somebody that just got the most out of Debo Samuel, Brandon Ayuk, uh, in that run game there with the Niners. I expect this offense to be loaded uh, for Tua. Jalen Waddle's going to take a slight dip down. Uh, I was expecting him to come into that wide receiver one conversation after his amazing season last year. Uh, but you have to scale that back now and put him in that mid-tier wide receiver two range uh, with Tyree Kill being in that you know mid-tier wide receiver one range. So it's very tough for offense to carry two wide receiver one values. So you'd have to scale that back. And obviously the other side of that is Pat Mahomes. So when we're talking about Pat Mahomes and these Kansas City Chiefs options, uh, Mahomes is also going to take a slight dip based on the, the breakup of this relationship. Uh, Mahomes is not going to have the same hero chucks that he had 60 yards down uh, downfield. And a lot of teams were scheming against that last year as well. We saw a slight dip in Mahomes fantasy production. He'll still be a top top three to five option, but he just won't carry the upside that you once drafted him have, uh, as to have that QB one type of feel that that elite best quarterback in fantasy type field. I think we see a little bit of a scale back in that production. Uh, with Juju Smith-Schuster even added on, it, you know, his production should skyrocket from where it was being in the steel, being with the Steelers organization, kind of being one of, uh, you know, uh, inconsistent wide receiver two, wide receiver three range. I think we see Juju Smith-Schuster as a high-end wide receiver two for this next upcoming season. And Travis Kelsey should be peppered with targets. Miko Hardman also gets a small boost from this. Instead of being in that wide receiver four, wide receiver five conversation, now we can see Miko Hardman being a solid wide receiver three for this season. So uh, a lot of the arrows pointing up for the Chiefs supporting weapons for Pat Mahomes himself, just give a slight bump down. Uh, but yeah, this is a loaded deal for all sides, a lot of fantasy implications. And, you know, obviously with the draft coming up, this could even be shaken up a little bit more. What are your thoughts overall? Where would you take Tyree Kill? Let us know in the comments and make sure you're subscribed to FanDuel on all social media networks.